I collapse on the stone bench with a sigh. I really can't catch a break, can I? Are you okay? Aki has followed me down the stairs. She looks concerned. No worries, I'm fine. After all, crazy old men yell at me all the time. She smiles and I think I hear a small giggle escape her lips. At least she's amused. Yeah, sorry about that. Eh, it's hardly your fault, no need to apologise. Just sympathising with you. Right, that part of your kanze, are you just trying to be nice? What do you think? Trying to be nice. It's no good Mr. Autumn's refusing to come out. Just because he saw me? I imagine he's older. That or he's just going to end up being my dad or something stupid like that. It's no good Mr. Autumn's refusing to come out. Naraki and Lee may join us in the front hallway. Detective Gursky is still up there trying to talk it to him, but he won't listen to reason. Any idea what's going on up there? No, I can't think any re anything I've read that's like this. I don't know what you did, but you've got Mr. Orton bunkered up in there pretty good. Well, if what Sophia told us is, you know, leads to be true, he's a nutcase. So, <laughs> I don't mind that much. I didn't do anything, you saw me. Yeah, I saw. It doesn't make any sense, though. He's even pretty insistent about talking with us today. Limei, what do you think? Aki turns to the young girl. Limei closes her eyes. It's almost like she's a drift to sleep. He's scared. Yeah, we figured out that much already. Anything else? What about when we first reacted? <laughs> oh, God. It... <laughs> Her little power she's got here, her Kanze, is it going to be pointless? <laughs> is there going to be any point to it whatsoever? Just every time they turn to her for help, it's just like, they're agitated. He's holding a gun at me, of course he's agitated. Oh well. She inhales and lets out a tiny breath. He was not surprised. Not surprised? That's strange. Does that mean he expected to see me? But if that were the case, my thoughts are interrupted by a new voice. Whoa, hey, I didn't know we were having guests today. Alright, well, we know who Liam Orton is. <laughs> a young man, probably in his teens or early 20s, is staring at us from the hallway. Well, to dress like that and speak like he is, I'd imagine he has to be at least 15, a top 17. <laughs> probably not that young, but still. Twat nonetheless. His gaze passes over Lee Mei, Aki, and Nyaki before resting on me. Way to go! He gives me a thumbs up. What? I don't know how you managed to get three at once, but that's a pretty sweet haul of chicks, man. <laughs> Alright, I like him now. Who them? But but I'm a guy. Aki holds back a snicker. Oh crap. Well, he must have had some pretty awkward moments in clubs. He shrugs and regains his composure quickly. Well, I've seen worse. <laughs> Ouch. What's that supposed to mean? Let's see. A bunch of people hanging around in the lobby for no reason. That's an easy one. Uncle called you out here. Now he's having a fissy fit and making you wait. Am I right? Got it in one. And you must be Liam Orton. This guy is Liam Orton. I can see why... I guess I can see why Marissa mistook me for him. We look like we could pass a bro- No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Maybe distant cousins. Oh, dear. I feel a little insulted that she'd equate me with this guy, though. Everything about him screams, Slacker! He doesn't look like he's had a hard day in his life. I'm Liam, alright, but who are you? I love how Dave was surprised. <gasps> this person who's obviously Liam Morton is Liam Morton? <gasps> That's not a surprise. Uh, but who are you? You definitely don't look like business partners. Uncle's not the kind of guy who just lets anyone enter. He's all crazy paranoid that way. If he's as paranoid as you say, why are you here? Aki ignores Liam's question and counters with her own. Liam shrugs. Meh, I'm family. It's not like he's got a choice. Despite the casual air, I detect a hint of smugness around him. He probably enjoys feeling like he's above us. Yeah, that's right. If you're posh and you're better than peasants, you state that claim! Don't, because, you know, you'd be a bit of an asshole. I've known this guy for about 10 seconds and he already ticks me off. Nah, he's cool. Naki looks like he agrees with me, but it's clear he's trying to hide his feelings. Aki, on the other hand, doesn't seem bothered at all. 
Well, now Aki seems kind of shy and retiring, and Aki just seems like the kind of person who'd go up to a person in a bar and punch them in the face for no reason. <sighs> ah, so you're visiting your uncle today. Nope, I live here. He looks like a little hurt, but she'd assume otherwise. Really? That's even cool, though. It must have been kind of boring for you, though. Huh? I was looking around earlier, and nearly all the doors were locked. His wounded expression quickly transforms into one of pride. That's because you're a visitor. You don't get many access privileges. I'm allowed in, like, every room in the house. Like, so not all of them. <laughs> Aki's eyebrows shoot up. She definitely looks interested. Yeah, well, there's... There's Daddy's secret room he doesn't let anyone go into. And that led you to believe that it's all technological. It's just some sort of weird, depraved sex dungeon. Ugh, yeah, that'd be odd. <laughs> A very unlike sex visual as well. Leon looks to the side and mumbles. <laughs> There's a lock on his office and the security room. But those rooms are pointless anyway. Oh, well, if that's all. Aki shrugs casually and Liam reacts as his shoulders. I glance at Nagi. He's staring at some sort of invisible point in the ground, trying his best not to be in this conversation. Aki leads towards Liam and tilts her head as if to whisper in his ear. Hey, can I ask you a question? Her voice is suddenly quiet. Conspiratorial almost. They can almost definitely hear you. This, this is going to be a problem. So don't ask anything, which could be later held against us. Yeah, I guess so. Aki watches Liam's expression carefully as it changes from uncertainty to curiosity. I don't suppose I could ask you a favour. What? He's caught off guard by the request. Well, seeing as your uncle seems to be hanging us both out dry, to dry even, maybe we could at least spend some the time doing something interesting. Like? Dunno, maybe you could show me around. We could poke around your uncle's precious privacy while he's busy being difficult. Liam smirks. <laughs> Guess I've got nothing better to do with my time. Sure, why not? That's not a bad idea. I like that a lot. He coils his arms around Aki's waist and guides her towards the hallway. Aki. <laughs> I imagine that she is used to being flirtatious if she's this outgoing. So I'm not quite sure why now Aki's surprised. Spit up and explore what you can. Something about this doesn't settle well with me at all. And we might not get another chance. Amen to that. Uh, I really wish she wouldn't do that. I'm still surprised every time she uses her brain voice or can say or whatever. It's can say! Is she always like that? Yeah, Aki has a way with people. She's persuasive. Flirtatious. No offence. Offence is spent with a C, not an S. But that was a rather thinly veiled bit of manipulation there. Why do you fall for it? She uses her can say to push through someone's thoughts in the direction she wants. Oh, I just thought he was an idiot. <laughs> So mind control. I think that powerful. Just subtle suggestions. Like a whisper in the back of your mind. I hope she doesn't intend to use that on me. She can't. Huh? What do you mean? Those with Kansai are more sensitive. You know, it's her voice. Right. Kind of makes sense, I suppose. But she could have... But oh, no, because I've got to... Kind of go around. Okay. Makes sense. To us, it sounds like she's speaking directly, but normal people only feel like they've had a random impulse. Naki gazes at the floor and kicks aside some imaginary dust with the side of his foot. What? Nothing. We should probably get going. I'd rather not split up if we don't have to. I don't do well exploring new places. You're not even leaving the house. How bad could it be? Terribly! Oh, God. All right. Well, I got stuck in an elevator once because I couldn't figure out how to get it to go to another... <sighs> dash underscore dash. It's true. Lee May nods her head in confirmation. I don't even want to think about how he managed to accomplish that. Just man up and go alone, then let's all go together. Is he going to get trapped if I... Oh, you know what? Sod it. We can save it and then go back if I'm heading towards a bad ending. It's fine. <laughs> you guys are here for a reason. And one, to watch my videos. Two, to give me lots and lots of love and make me feel better about my insecure self. Ha! <laughs> I joke, of course. I'm not fucking insecure. And third, to tell me what the fuck I'm doing and when I'm going wrong. Not if, when <laughs> I'm going wrong. For now, 
I'm going to say let's all go together, because the mean option is always the bad option. Although I'll probably just say that in real life, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> but no, let's all go together. Purely because Lee Mei is actually vaguely attractive and I kind of... Uh... No, I take that back, she's not. Is it really okay? Sure, why not? As long as he learns something, I'm sure Aki won't care. Is that okay with you, Lee Mei? It's fine. I don't understand why I can't just go with Naraki and then Lee Mei can go off by herself. Then, hmm, Naraki might get ideas. Maybe not. The three of us walk down the hallway together. Naraki hangs behind Lee Mei and I. He seems uncertain. I thought we were all going together, or are you not coming? I'm coming. Naraki hurries up to catch us. There's something to be afraid of, man. That's easy for you to say. I'm not like you. I don't like the way she closed her eyes. She squinted ever so quickly. The expression changes in Lee Mei's eyes briefly, as if she's just recalled something that she heard hope for forget. So you're nervous, no big deal. Why not ask Lee Mei? What just happened? No, no, okay, doesn't, doesn't care. Oh God, she remembered something she didn't want to. Sorry about life, and just keeps walking. You know, yeah, no big deal. Eh. The hallway stretches out with doors on either side. Behind the glass door at the end, the staircase leads down, downwards to parts unknown. So, where do you want to start? Maybe we should start at the end of the hall and work back. Anything but the stairs. Let's take the stairs. <laughs> Sour. Naki and Lee Mei speak at the same time before they both fall silent. Naki looks nervous as usual, Lee Mei looks moody. For some reason, they seem to be expecting me to make a decision. Who's moody around here, which would force Lee Mei to... Pfft, what did I know? It admittedly the stairs aren't the most inviting thing about this place, but just because they're out of the way doesn't mean they're that scary. So? So? Where should we go? Okay, so I am I am the cast to vote of this, okay. Stairs. Didn't I just ask them that? Why am I the only one who has to decide now? Um, Go through that last door on the right. Let's take the last door on the left. Let's take the staircase. I'm totally going back and doing this off screen just to see what those other options are. All right, no, let's take the staircase. Because fuck it, I'm brave. What? what? Yeah. Lee Mei doesn't smile, but her expression flickers just slightly. She looks pleased. But why? Well, we're going to have to check it out anyway. Might as well get it over with. I guess that makes sense. The three of us descend the stairs. This is a terrible, terrible idea. Nimei leads the way, striding confidently down, while Naraki clings to the handrail with both hands. Dude, nothing's going to happen. You sure? Okay. What exactly do you expect to happen? You think a ghost is going to leap out at us? No, but Freddy Krueger lurked in dark places, as did Jason. Just those two, though. I can't think of anyone else. <laughs> All ghosts in paranormal activity? Oh god, those films are stupid. Oh no, a loud banging which we definitely know is a demon! Quickly, run straight towards it! <sighs> Twats. No, but if you go, she'd see it, right? No? What makes you think that? Lee Mei said you could sense when someone nearby is dead. Uh, sort of. It's more like being able to sense strong emotions, though. Fear mostly, sometimes desperation. I pick up on the emotions of someone once they realise they're dying. It's really only the powerfully negative stuff though. It's not like I get warm fuzzies from grandfathers who die in their sleep. Uh, it kind of makes sense. So he only... He only can feel people who are murdered, not people who... Die. If... Let's say I just had a little bit of a heart attack and then I keeled over onto the floor. He wouldn't see that, but he would feel if I was stabbed in the back of the neck or something. Ugh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't imagine having to live like that. Well, I can't imagine not living like this. It feels like most of my life has been a... Oh, dead end. What? A dead end? Really? That can't be real. Lee May points to the door at the bottom of the staircase. Oh, oh, right, okay, that makes sense. I head down the stairs and inspect the door. It looks like the rest of the doors in this house. Every time I touch it, it beeps at me and it doesn't budge. Because you can't get through it. Looks like it's shut tight. Sophia did say we'd only have access to certain areas of the house. Guess that doesn't include the basement. The sex dungeon. Does make sense. Then let's go back. 
Just like that. Wow. I thought that would have been far worse. Naraku leads the way as we return to the hallway. That wasn't so terrible, was it? Well, no. By the way, you mentioned Lee Mei told you about my ability. She's the one who noticed you first when you used your kanze yesterday. She felt it. The emotions of the deceased were amplified in you. No, that does kind of make sense. I see. Seems like nothing escapes this girl. Well, should we keep exploring the house? Yeah, let's get... Uh-oh. Did I just... Ugh. Whoa, are you okay? I don't feel so good. It's happening. What's going on? I feel my stomach churning. Lee Mei looks ill too. Please don't. Scared. He's scared. Who? Dave? I clutch at my stomach. Everything feels so light. It's Mr. Orton. I race down the hallway, still clutching at my stomach. Mr. Orton! I stumble up the staircase, barely stopping for breath as I head toward Mr. Orton's office. Naki chases after me, stopping short at the bottom of the stairs. Oh shit, we're gonna get blamed for this, aren't we?